All right, welcome back. We have the sad story as reported here. I also watched a little bit of Antibiza show the other day when she covered this story of a Nigerian bodybuilder that was shot by a wife who died in the U.S. I'm going to read uh, some of this and then my, my lesson on this is very straightforward and straight to the point. But let me tell you what happened first. Uh, I'm going to read directly from Instablog Nigeria. It says, Nigerian bodybuilder dies after being shot by his wife during a disagreement hold on one second uh yeah there you go after this uh uh during a disagreement in the u.s i doubt if it's, this is just a disagreement this has to be some kind of heated argument okay heated debate and probably much uh that went much beyond just the moment that it happened okay uh, a U.S.-based Nigerian bodybuilder, Michael Chidoze, hmm, Michael Chidoze, has died weeks after his wife shot him multiple times at their apartment in Houston, Texas. That is very, very sad. Don't you think? Very, very, very sad. That's crazy. Jesus Christ. These people, man. Anyway uh hmm. the 26 year old died he's 26 years old jesus christ so young died last week after his wife kiera shivoye kiera shivoye chidozie 28 she's a little older shot him four times in front of their kids in their home on march 21 2024 come on texas what's going on in texas ah, i know people that are scared to move to texas for this very reason i always tell them no it's not that deep everybody's just it's just no more day like nothing but you tell me what you think is everybody just walking around with the uh with earring <laughs> in the, with the guts right with a gun is that what happens in texas well uh i know a few friends that actually own you know own the firearms and stuff like that but it's, you know jesus guys it's scary you know speaking from someone from new jersey you know, no no educate me educate me in the chat maybe i don't know what i'm talking about all right we know we have the right to bear firearms right but these are some of the reasons why those arguments will come up but educate me i beg <coughs> excuse me all right, so four times on March 21, 2024, Daily Mail reports that the disease was rushed to Ben Tubb Hospital after police found him with gunshot wounds and his wife in a panic holding their two kids, aged three and two. Ouch. Chidoze lingered on life support as his family prayed for his recovery, but he suffered a devastating spinal injury and died of complications 18 days later. According to the report, Kiera was charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon after the shooting and her charges have not been upgraded since his death. She claimed to have shot Chidoze in self-defense as suspected as much. As she feared for her life during the argument when he followed her into the bedroom, it's unclear what the argument was over. The argument began elsewhere in the house before she went to the bedroom when she, where she picked up a pistol and shot him. Chidoze was shot once in the arm and once in the chest eh, and twice in his torso and left to die on the bedroom floor. Meanwhile, Kira was released on bail and is set to next phase court on May 23rd, 23. Their children are being cared for by other family. This is crazy. This is crazy. Let me see some of this chat. Let's see what people are talking about. Somebody said when we left, they said we are impatient. At least our hands are not stained with blood. What? Somebody said, let's see how Nigerian women will react to this with their double standard that's also the wrong angle like weirdos that's a wrong angle gender war is always a weird wrong angle yes i'll call you weirdos as soon as i catch you now henceforth if you have a kind partner you don't know what god has done for you hmm. 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 all 
all right now usually they are kind that's why you marry them in the first place stop the cap there's more to this story than any of that angle that they will of course bring into it it's more to the story stop the cap <laughs> most people feel like the guy was somebody that was kind okay but things change things change right not people change of course people change everything changes but things change the dynamic of the relationship changes and most people are not prepared for that now this is an extreme sad situation of course right somebody said nothing concerned a young woman bought in give us basmatic rice and crocker fish please that's sad we have nigerian women that have done this uh sadly so that's a sad angle too the muzzles didn't save him though so sad jesus in front of their kids imagine the trauma she just gave her children all because she can't control her emotions well it's not that simple in that uh see anger is <laughs> anger is a hell of an emotion it's not your mate it's not an excuse it's something the lesson here is not her her life is over for now that man's life is over the lesson is for you right it's very easy for you to look at this and judge them when they already judge you're not going to help the judgment they already judged she's not even though they release her on bail she will not know peace of mind now but what can you learn from this should be the question clearly that's not going to be judging her or him you never thought about that you never expected that uh hmm? <laughs> you didn't see that coming yeah that's why you are here at the, with the prestige family i never expected it okay the lesson what is the lesson for you it's not judging her right she's already judged all right well not yet not convicted they might have to upgrade and we don't know what the judgment but what i'm saying is that she's not going to know peace of mind her life is over at least for now will probably never be the same ever again so let's push her to the side for a second right you won't be the first to know that she's wrong no that's not the lesson for you the lesson for you is to check your emotions if you have anger issues check it when you black out nobody is going to be there you won't be there when you do black out if you're in a very toxic situation stop normalizing it like after all at least uh, you start if you start your sentence with at least it's, uh, you're normalizing bullshit it's time that you do something about that check ask for help 1800 domestic violence something google it it comes right up okay it's okay call the cop if somebody is acting erratic you're not sure call the police gentlemen she cannot beat you to this if she's acting funny that you're about to lose your cool pick up the phone and call 911 or whatever your emergency numbers are don't wait for her to call it so you can come and say that's how she called the police on me because we're in yaki you sound stupid we're talking about life and death they should call the police on you if you're not calling the police if you find yourself in that situation okay they should be calling the police on you okay now mr chidoze is gone okay not only that his legacy is gone nobody will ever want to remember this story or remember anything because it ended in such a sad way okay being judgmental about this is not what you're looking for you need to look beyond deeper beyond what you're looking at it's the, the easiest thing you can do is judge any one side of this obviously it might be easy for you to judge her because she's such a wicked woman who took out an, the life of another person if you have small small anger you can black out you won't know when you do okay if you understand how emotions work right or anger temporary insanity you will not be there to say let me have self control when it happens that's why you shouldn't normalize nonsense it's not a do or die if marriage is not working back off back off from each other somebody said you will leave nigeria women to go and marry this has nothing to do with that this is a very stupid statement to make you leave the general women to go and marry Yankee, forgetting that these Yankees doesn't tolerate the kind of uh, bullshit that Nigerian women take every day. That's nonsense talk. Could make sense. 
So self-defense when he had no weapon. How do you know that? You have no idea what went down in that place. Many of you, you do worse when you're angry. You start throwing stuff across the room. Anyhow, you, you start breaking things. So we should wait until you kill somebody before we know you are the same. I beg, go and sit down somewhere. The solution is to not normalize toxic relationships by any means, by any stretch. Don't normalize it. You walk away and mean it. If God said you guys are going to be together, but first of all, walk away and mean it. Okay? But rather, you went inside and got a weapon while shooting. Listen, you're, you're reading that story and you're interpreting it verbatim. That's not the lesson. If you need that to be the lesson, just reread that to yourself. Don't repeat it. That means you're not learning anything. I know you think it could never be you. She probably thought the same thing too. But emotions don't be your mate. If you have small, small anger, check yourself in with a the therapist. Check yourself in immediately. Because this can be you. It can be anybody okay the lesson is to manage your own emotions not hers she's gone not judging her that's you try to manage hers she's going to be locked up one way or the other right now hopefully because the, we need the lessons we need judgment for for that man's life that passed away but again for you that you see these kind of stories how do you interpret these things? Like, come on. You can't just go towards gender war every time you see an opportunity. Something is wrong with you. Anyway, do me a favor. Let me know what your thoughts are about this. Disagree, agree, I don't care. Let me know your thoughts. Let's rub mine together. Like, share, and subscribe. This is a very, very, very sad situation. I'll see you in no time. your love that I've been missing I miss all your hugs, you're touching and kissing me love on the floor, the couch in the kitchen one loving up, we done enough